well, well, I can't make this stuff up, guys. I can't. Listen, I'm just a guy reporting the news. We have Dell spinning the block. <laughs> They're doing round two. Well, look who decided to show. And they're coming back telling you guys, listen, um, we know we said we we're gonna lay off almost 13,000 people uh, a couple months ago, or last month, but actually we're gonna lay off way more people. We don't want you guys to think that we're gonna stop at 13,000 employees. We're gonna lay off people during the holidays and right after the holidays. Houston, we have a problem. Huh, huh, who said that? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk about it guys. My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel guys Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel Also check in the description and the pit comment I have a newsletter and it gives you tremendous value and it's free You cannot beat that and also too if you need any type of financing for investment properties or commercial properties I've been a lender for almost 20 years. I can assist you with that that information is in the description guys Dale's job cuts aren't over now if this is it if this isn't the example, just go ahead and scroll through the dictionary. It says, these companies aren't loyal. Dell. <laughs> Listen, I've told you guys over and over and over. These companies, they don't care. These companies will continue to lay off individuals and they will say it's in the name of profit. And listen, I, I made that last video. You guys remember it where I was talking about Dell, Intel, and the layoffs. There were some people in the comic section that weren't too happy with me. How dare you? Especially guys that were working for Dell or guys that was working for Intel. The guys who work in tech, they weren't too happy with me. They wanted to give me a lesson. <laughs> in company loyalty and saying, Orlando, they're not gonna lay us off. And I was like, well, that's what it says. Why are you so loyal to this company? You do know that they think you're a number, but let's jump into it. It says Dell is planning further cuts to its workforce. The company said in a sec filing on Tuesday that it plans to limit external hiring and reorganize some roles to reduce its overall headcount through the physical year ending February, 2025. We remain committed to discipline, cost management in coordination with our ongoing business transformation initiative and will continue to take certain measures to reduce costs, the company said. Now, well, you know, that's that's legal talk. That's a lawyer right now. That's a spokesman. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and put this in plain English. We're gonna continue laying off more individuals, more than what we said, because we're trying to replace you with AI. <laughs> I'm fired, aren't I? Oh yes. And on that video previously that I did, one of the top complaints was, Orlando, you don't understand how AI works. You don't understand that they're not really trying to replace us with AI. AI's not even there yet. And I was thinking to myself, uh, I, listen, I never said I was a computer scientist. I never said I was an expert in AI. But the one thing that I do know is I know that these companies aren't loyal. Amen. And if you believe, if you truly believe that your job isn't trying to replace you with a computer system that can do your job for basic, for free basically, then, then you're crazy. If you believe a tech company is not trying to employ different ways for a computer to do your job, you're crazy. If you believe that the company that you work for is so loyal to you, they will never let you go, no matter what. Why are you crazy? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? And I get it. Some people just won't understand that the company that they're working for doesn't have their best interest at heart until they get that email. Or they send you a letter in the mail saying you're laid off. And unfortunately, those individuals will then come back and say they're surprised. When I'm literally sitting here and telling you, these companies aren't loyal. These companies just think of you as a number. These companies want you to do your job plus more and try to pay you less and less and less. And if they can get an, a computer to do your job again for free, they will. I don't care how much Jeremiah, your leader, your management tells you, <laughs> you know what, James? We, what would we do without you? <laughs> what would we do without you? You know what? We, man, this company would not run. Would not run, Jeremiah, if you weren't here. Well, I'm here to tell you, James, he's lying to you. He's literally telling you a lie. The company will be fine without you. Yes. Yes, I know it's a surprise. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, 
but the company will be fine without you. Matter of fact, it will be continue to be profitable without you. Matter of fact, they will get a college student and pay them less to do your job. Yes, I know, I know. You're, se you're in senior position. You, you've been working there for 20 years. And how could they dare, dare replace you with a college student that has barely any experience? Barely any experience. Well, if you continue to believe that, you will find out. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Listen, Dell has been cutting jobs since February 2023 and looking to cut costs as demand for its PC slow. Meanwhile, advancements in AI have been identified as the area of growth that it's eager to focus on. So here's the thing. The AI scenario is a lot of individuals are training the AIs. And unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of these individuals that are training the AIs will then be replaced by the trained computer. That's just what I see happening. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the AI will just be just a little tiny bit and these companies hire more individuals. I mean, I don't see that ever happening, but that could be what you're thinking. Well, they're gonna hire more people to train the AI. Mm, I'm sorry, it's not gonna go that way. But individuals have been arguing with me time and time and time again. Orlando, 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 you don't know how AI works. There's gonna be more individuals hired, the more AI becomes more popular. And I'm just scratching my head and going, man, is that how it works? You're hiring more individuals? You're spending more money? than you would spend on the AI. That just, that just doesn't make sense. That don't make no sense. Make the math math. That's all I'm saying. Make it make sense to me because based on what's being reported, Dell is saying, meanwhile, investments in AI have been identified as an area of growth and that it's eager to focus on. In August, it announced that it would lay off thousands of workers as part of a restructuring of its sales division to adapt to the AI world. And an internal memo sent to the members of the sale team at the time said that an AI specific sales unit being set up and that monetization would free up time for sales team to focus on selling. So. Now, what they're saying is, yeah, that all that back work, we're gonna have AI do it. Eventually, AI will take over the selling. Wait, what? That's basically what I see. That, that's basically what this reads. Again, there is AI, 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 and more AI in this article. I don't know how many times they gotta say, we're gonna replace you with AI, before you read in between the lines that they're gonna replace you with AI. Everyone creates the thing they dread. But listen, you don't have to take my word for it. Let's go ahead and hear what an employee said. There are no opportunities to move up. One Dell salesperson previously told Business Insider, I have been looking for a new job outside of Dell for nine months. Smart guy. <laughs> Smart guy. I mean, he knows what's going on. So why is it so hard for individuals who are so loyal to these tech companies, so loyal to all of these other companies, why is it so hard for them to understand? that they are going to be replaced. That again, you heard what this gentleman said here. There's no room to move up. You're gonna be stagnant in that position forever. Forever, ever. And you don't think that these tech companies want that? I just reported the other day, the same thing is happening with UPS. But listen, I'm just a guy on YouTube. I understand, I understand. Most people like, listen, Orlando, I get it. But hey, hey man, listen, you don't work at my job. You don't know, Orlando, that they just threw me a party the other day. They threw me a pizza party, right? Yeah, they threw me a pizza party the other day. And these guys really, really love me. They really love me, man. So I don't know what you're talking about, Orlando, but you need to get a grip. <laughs> you know, I, I'm literally pulling that out of an email. That's literally what someone sent to me, Orlando, Get a grip, okay? Unfortunately for those individuals, when they get the letter, when they get the layoff letter, when they get the layoff email, when their manager says, hey, um, yeah, I know we said we, 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 we couldn't run this department or the company without you, but um, I, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I guess we can run it without you because we're gonna let you go, man. I, I, I'm super sorry about that. Um, tell Jane I said hello in the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. That's what they're going to do. That pill is going to be so hard to swallow for those individuals. And, and I'm, listen, I don't want anyone to get laid off. I'm just saying you should be just like this gentleman. You hear what he said? He said, I've been looking for a new job outside of Dell for nine months. Ding, ding, ding. That's what you should do. I've had individuals tell me, yes, I've been offered more money, more money 
than I'm making currently at my job right now at another company and I've turned it down. You know why they turned it down? Because they're loyal to companies like Dell. What is wrong with you? They are so loyal that they believe that the company themselves would never let them go. The company themselves is gonna promote them over and over and over. They believe that their seniority, them being in a company for 20 years is gold. It's beyond anything else. Yeah, I know I heard that. That's corny. And I'm here to tell you, I, I get it. You, you get to choose your shifts. You don't have to work swing shift or you don't have to do something. I get it. You got a perk, but the perk isn't that you're unfireable. The perk of you being there for 25 years and, 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 and being there from the beginning, seeing all the hard times and the good times, that does not make you unfireable or put you in a position where they can't lay you off. Matter of fact, if you're making too much money and you're older, they're gonna lay you off. Write it down and keep it for future reference. How many times have we seen it? I can do story after story after story of individuals who were seniors, who have been with a company for 20 something years and got laid off because they're making too much money and the company doesn't value them because of their age and the amount of money that they make. But it doesn't stop there, guys. It doesn't stop there. Let's go ahead and move on to, to Microsoft. Microsoft is cutting hundreds of jobs in the Xbox gaming unit. I get it, gaming, there are tons of layoffs happening in gaming. Activision and all this other, there, there's tons of it. But again, this is a scenario where they're cutting and cutting and cutting more individuals. And they're gonna do it as much as possible. They're gonna do it the closer and closer we get to the holidays. What do you think is gonna happen? And I've said this over and over again. They're all waiting for one thing, rate cuts. They want to get their payroll down and they are paying interest. I know a lot of you guys don't believe this, but companies are taking lines of credit to make payroll. That's how businesses work. And if that line of credit can be cheaper, how much cheaper would it be? if I laid you off and I don't have to pay it. So I'm saving money by laying off individuals and not paying a higher interest rate. Hmm, you see how that works? It's just math, guys, it really is. Again, I don't want individuals to get laid off, but you have to understand the reality. And the reality is, is these companies aren't loyal. Fact. And that's my whole point. If you're gonna get laid off, at least be able to look at what's happening in your company. Understand that they're not gonna keep you and that you need to look for other opportunities. A lot of you guys are passing up opportunities for other jobs because you believe your company is stable. You believe that your job is, is, is not going anywhere because of you. Here's the thing. The reason why most companies will keep you is because mathematically, money-wise, it makes sense to them. They don't have to retrain someone. It's better in their interest to keep you. It's all about dollars and cents. And what is the one thing that I tell you guys all the time when it comes to these companies? They will lay you off faster than trying to develop a new product or do new advertising, getting more income. They're not gonna, they're not gonna mess around with that. They're just gonna lay you off. You're fired. And here's the thing. You know what the name of the game is now with the layoffs? They don't wanna put numbers. They don't wanna say we're laying off 20,000. 30,000. They'll just say, we're gonna continue laying people off till 2025. That's what they're doing. The numbers game is, is not even existent now. They did that at the beginning of the year. Now they're learning, oh, just so we don't, you know, cause a commotion, we're not gonna put a number. We're not gonna put 13, 20,000. They're not gonna do that. They're just gonna say, yeah, we're gonna lay people off um, and, uh, until we feel that uh, we don't wanna lay people off anymore. And that will extend until the middle of next year. Again, guys, again, guys, the point of this video is to remind you, these companies aren't loyal. Make sure that you put you and your family first before any of these companies. Make sure you take care of you, again, and yourself and your family. That should be number one before any of these companies. So as always, guys, you won't get all of your information from this one video. I need you to watch this video right here. It will give you information on the housing market, financial news, get into your first rental property, and guess what, guys? The information you will get from that video, it will be gold. See you in the next one. Thanks.